Hello guys, this presentation is supposed to help you in deciding which research topics to take for research one and for your higher research subjects. Now the way I do this is I'm going to scheme the whole document and then I'm going to give um, my insights on the possible research topics that you can work on because upon reading the, this whole document on the strategic research priority areas of PSHS SRC, not every research areas can be done by grade 10 students more so in PSHS SRC premises. Okay, so let's see. We have here studies on pol pol pollutants and contaminants. So surface and ground waters. So if you're interested on tracing, for example, the phosphorus levels from a mountainous area that's built with farmland and then comparing it with the phosphorus level of the adjacent body of water, for example, a lake or a river basin, and then we are going to compare if there's, you know, similarity in the amount of phosphorus and then the you know, the possible repercussions of such levels. So that can be a research topic. Alternative energy can also be one, I think. Um, you, you don't have to compete with the National Grid Corporation for that matter. I think for a research one, maybe you can just propose on a ver an easy or a low-cost way for renewable energy. For example, for a wind turbine, for example, that you can make it something like minute, but very efficient in terms of the energy um, transformation, energy input to output, so that can be a research topic. Functional food, my understanding for this is if you have in mind something that you need, that you want to incorporate to existing product to, in, to have better health benefits, so that can be one. Maybe we can deviate from the normal ones like malunggay, what else, huh? and ano pa ba? I think mga gano study. I mean, if you have others areas, if uh, other um, interests, or I say um, ideas rather, so we can do that as a study. ICT for health, not so much, I guess. But if you have ideas, as I scheme this document, let me know, ne. And then nutritional and food quality and safety, yun nutritional studies then. Crops, I think it's difficult to do that for research one, so let's skip that. Cultural management, it's also difficult to do. Crop production. Livestock research, medyo mahirap din siya. Vaccine development, nope, 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 so let's skip. Food and nutrition, security, let's see, test for food, rapid test kits, nope. So... Let's just choose research areas, or I'm going to discuss research areas that I think can be done by you guys, okay? ICT electronics, so I'm not sure with your background with big data analysis, pero if you are interested on computational aspect of research, for example, um, ano ba? you are going to build applications for easier contact tracing, or say, if you plan to propose a better graphic user interface website, for example, in designing primers for polymerase chain reaction, imaganon, if that can be a research topic, no? Because from what I have known, the research Sapisai since then was uh, mainly on biology, so medyo ano din. If you have ideas outside biology, that would be very much appreciated. No? Mining, minerals, let's see. Construction, packaging, nope. Medyo mahirap siya gawin. Alternative mass transport, nope. Definitely, we can't do that for research. Renewable energy, so yun yung sinabi ko kanina. No? Kahit yung mga basic ideas lang, it does not have to be very big at this point. Disaster risk, not so much. Basic veterinary studies, okay, economic important analysis, transmitted. So, medyo mahirap siya, especially na transmittable siya to human that may pose 
uh, health risks. Social, ito, pwede siya, folk, folklore medicine. For example, if you have read na meron siyang, um, ano ba yan, meron siyang tribal claim, or yung parang, ang tawag dyan? Ang tawag dyan, parang, um, meron siyang cultural, or ginagamit siya in um, tribal communities as a medicine, and then hindi pa na map out yung potential compounds that are present in the plant extract. So, we can run that in HPLC so that we can see the bioactive compounds and then we can characterize each compound. This is signified by each peak in the HPLC and then we can analyze that. So, pwede siyang gawin, I think, in less than one, one, one year given the budget requirement, no? Drug discovery... Infectious, non-infectious. For diseases kasi ang mahirap is, um, I'm not sure if UP in Marble can accommodate us, but because these are communicable diseases, you know, human diseases, so medyo mahirap siyang itakel. As much as I know na marami sa inyo would like to pursue medicine, and research in this area would be helpful, but it's best if we deviate in tackling to topics related to health or human diseases kasi, you know, your safety is our top concern, di ba? Nux. Omic Technologies, wow. Omic Technologies, molecular technology platforms in developing local technologies for personalized medicine. So, more on bioinformatics na part. Um, ano bang pwede dito? Proteomics, genomics, medyo mahirap. Not sure if we have the equipment that's needed for this. Kahit genomics lang sana, transcriptomics. But for bioinformatics, for bioinformatics and systems biology, we can, for example, run a pipeline. So that can be a research technology. We are go re That can be a research topic, rather. So we can run a pipeline given a problem set and then we are going to compare it with the existing pipeline. So that can be a research topic for bioinformatics. Data mining. So medyo malalim na siya. Heavy computation na eh. It's more on um, computational background talaga siya. Yung machine learning like that. But if you have, if you know um, faculty members na pwedeng makatulong sa inyo, then that would be nice. Natural resource and environment, utilization, and so on. Watershed management, la, let's see. Mm, not so much for this part. Walang masyadong pwedeng magawa natin. Technology transfer. Upscaling, development, nope. Countryside development. Agro-processing, value addition. For value addition, ano bang pwede dito? Something na currently wala siyang value and then pwede natin siyang mapagkakataan. So, yun yung sinasabi ng value addition. So, for marine biology, for example, yung fish bones, ginagawa siyang pulburon. So, actually, ano namin yan siya, yung parang sa entrepreneurship namin siya na subject. So, mga ganun. If you have ideas like that, natural, natural products development, halal processing technologies, I'm not sure with that. Environment and pollution control. Okay. Dito, if you have ideas for wastewater management, air pollution control, this can also qualify here. Anyway, for research one, ano pa lang naman siya. Yung deliverable natin will be a deliverable natin for this is a proposal. So, pwede, pwede pa tong mag-qualify, I guess. 21x modeling simulation and improvement. Hmm, policy research, no. Watershed. Biodiversity studies. Oh, more on population genetics, if you are interested in that. If you want, for example, to map geneti genetic variation of species ng sardin sardinella longiceps na nasa isang area and then sardines na nasa another area. So that can be an example of biodiversity studies. Food stock, food safety, livestock and poultry diseases, okay, social dimensions and health, 
So, so a social aspect naman to ng research, no? Inclusive nation building. Peace studies. I'm not sure with this. Sorry, guys. This is not my field. But if again, if you have ideas and if you think you can, you can make a research topic out of the things here. Kahit hindi ko siya na discuss or na na mention. Please let me know. Social economics and policy research. Okay, more on policy studies to. Disaster risk. Mm -hmm. food and nutrition so again the same pa din yung biodiversity studies food safety fundamental studies on potential and natural production bioprospecting yung sinabi natin kanina na yung um, posible siyang magamit may compound siya na pwedeng ma-extract sa kanya and then later on makaracterize natin yung compound that that's present so for example yung sa marine organisms yung sa cone shells yung neurotoxins na na discover ng group ng UP Marine Science Institute so pwede siyang ganong example and ano pa ba documentation of indigenous knowledge pwede din to pero wala akong masyadong idea dito so if you happen to have ideas for this and you know someone who can help you then you may no so I think that's it for this. Again, if hindi ko siya na-mention dito or hindi ko siya na-discuss and you know someone, you can always consult no for your future advisors. So, in my case, my, my, my research background is on marine biology and molecular biology. So, if you happen to be keen on any topics related to this, kahit hindi siya masyadong malapit sa pinag-aaralan ko na specific, um, then you can let me know and then let's see how we can make amends and try to do some arrangements. So that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you very much.